My second red off the start. You. These cold still roads are all we'll ever find. And memories made from trails we left behind along the way. I know these roads will lead us home. Hey friends, Robert here with Coastal GX out in another adventure here at South Padre Island. However, very different conditions from the last time I was here. Yeah, definitely the surf is really high and uh, it's made for some uh, interesting driving conditions out here. The whole goal of today was to come out here with my friend Ray from Blue Lions 5.0 and uh, we wanted to do a little fishing. We knew it wasn't gonna be perfect, but I really wanted to try out, you know, this new method, at least new method for me of uh, get, uh, getting bait and uh, using a certain type of bait, you know, for this video. And I don't know if it's going to happen. Hopefully the rain will go away or at least give us a break enough to, you know, fish for a little bit. I, I've been trying to read the beach a little bit better and I haven't been able to do so, <laughs> you know, not in these conditions. I've been thinking of flying that drone again, trying to see if I could get an aerial view and maybe get a better uh, idea as to where the better fishing spots might be. With northern winds gusting at 35 miles per hour, my drone was immediately swept off course. I wasn't ready for that. The moment I launched it, I had to keep a sharp eye on the controller, wrestling to guide it where it needed to go. Wind advisory warnings were blaring left and right, but I wasn't about to back down. I sent the DJI Air 2S drone soaring, though the video quality definitely took a hit. It was fighting hard against those intense winds. I tried to get a clear read of the beach from up high, but everything looked rough and chaotic. After a few minutes battling the elements, I realized it was smarter to bring it down and explore the beach from ground level. Sometimes the best view is the one right in front of you. Hey, you made it. Hey, Not ideal conditions, right? I know. <laughs> wow. What a challenge to come out here right now. Yeah, man. Yeah. Exciting. I tried flying the drone, but the wind, it was like wind warnings saying, hey, you know, you need to bring your drone down. It's, it's too, you know, it's too hardcore. I, I, it's 25, 35 miles an hour. The waves are tremendous. I try. I, I flew the drone over the the, the 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 shoreline and trying to see if I could read the beach. And it's all the same, man. You know, pretty much. I just put my little stake right there, and I was gonna. I, while I was waiting for you, I was like, maybe he's not gonna want to be here. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So. Was a up no well yeah i kept it i kept it on top just because uh i didn't want to i want to avoid the the debris and the salt water so i was trying to stay away uh from the water the high tide was rolling in fast and the current was no joke strong and relentless i rigged up a double dropper setup with my heaviest spider weight launching my line into the first gut hoping it would hold for bait, I used some old fish bites that had seen better days. Honestly, at that point, I had already accepted that landing a decent catch was probably out of the question. But out here, you never know what might happen, so I stayed patient, ready for whatever the ocean had in store. Oh, shoot! There's a bite here, for sure. Something's biting. Oh, I don't feel it anymore. Well, I, I'm surprised that we got a, a bite even in this condition. Oh, no, whatever's there is still there. Oh, 
getting some head head shakes oh <laughs> yeah doesn't want to come in it's probably a catfish my luck oh no is it a red hey it's a red in this condition a slot red no way no way i can't believe this oh this is a incredible Oh my god! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Woo! My second red off the surf! Yeah! Woo! Let's see if it, uh, see what it measures. Hey, it beat the last one. 24 and a quarter. Slot red. Keeper. So this is going to be a keeper. Uh, and we're going to eat it. I don't know if right now. Or if uh, we'll take it home for dinner. But I learned something about bleeding out these fish. So I'm going to... I want to see if it's if it works. You see these uh, fins right here. I'm supposed to punch it in here. Oh! Thank you, sir. Twenty-four straight, a little over twenty-four. Nice. We're gonna bleed them out. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey friends, so a very unconventional, oh, <laughs> very unconventional uh, type of uh, camping outing that we have here. Let me put my camera down here because the winds are at least 30 miles an hour out here. And uh, so maybe I wanted to share a little bit with you about how we had to set up camp this time around. Um, we're only gonna stay here for the day so it's not like we're gonna stay overnight or anything like that. But yeah, how about that? Catching that red a little while ago, that was awesome. Uh, I still have a bunch of other things to do. Uh, I'm gonna show you around. Uh, I had to wear my, my uh, uh, microphone with a little uh, windscreen on it because it's just too much. Yeah, I mean, it is difficult to do anything, to fish, to... Uh, you know, operate the equipment, there's sand everywhere. You know, it's just a little too much. So anyway, let me show you a little bit of the setup. Hopefully the microphone is good enough. But um, so as you can see, you know, the ocean is still raging, still raging on. So high winds means what, high, you know, or strong waves, right? So um, we're in high tide. Thank goodness it's not that bad. It's not like hitting all the way to the top, but uh, we have to kind of keep it closer to the dunes over here. And um, yeah, I've only seen one vehicle come out here, rightly so, because this was only like a fool, only a fool would come out here when it's this nasty and of course, you can count on Coastal GX and Blue Lines 5.0 to do such a foolish thing, you know, as to come out here when it's, you know, 30 mile per hour winds. So we had to deploy, I had to position the vehicle in this uh, position right here so they can block. Right now the winds, everything is coming from the north. 
So this is working out okay right now. Um, thank goodness for my orange steaks. These are the good steaks. This is not crap. Okay, this is the good stuff. And I had my tie bosses, uh, as many uh, uh, tie downs as I could deploy in order to keep, you know, this 270 awning from just blowing away. And thank God I had Ray over here to help me tether them down. But this is a setup right here. Uh, as you can see, let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah, you can see all that sand. It's just nasty, man. So we just had to position Sandy in the, this way in order to give us some coverage. Let's go to let's go to talk to Ray and let's see what he's up to. Ray, what you got going on here, brother? Well, I got the pit started. It was a little challenging because of the wind, but I got it done. Super windy, as you guys can tell. It's not gonna stop us from barbecuing. <laughs> uh, I got some fajitas, some sausage, the biggest stuff that'll cook right away. Uh, nothing out of the morning. Uh, you actually watching, brother. You you are not shy. Ray Ray comes out here even if it's stormy. I've learned my lessons. I've done it. As a matter of fact, the way we met. Okay, let's do a little retro. You know, to oh, day okay. one when we met. I don't know, four or five years ago. Uh, at least yeah, well, about then, five years ago. At least five and years. Uh, yeah, so. You know, we had an adventure together. We didn't even know each other. That's how we met, and we've been, we've been friends ever since. But he actually likes coming out here when it's like this. I don't mind whatsoever. Uh, this doesn't bother me whatsoever. You got had an opportunity to catch catch the fish in this type of conditions, which is kind of rare in a way, but also exciting because you don't expect to catch a fish when the winds are like this and the waves about six seven feet high. And the water is kind of murky, but when you do catch a fish, it's a little red on the rush. It's very exciting. Yeah, it is. It was very exciting, man. I mean, I was so I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. You know, it's like, um, yeah, I, it made it made the trip quite worth it. But yeah, we're gonna continue on with the camping and the fishing, and uh, wish us luck, man. I hope nothing blows away. Or nothing terrible happens. Okay guys, so we're gonna be using some of Saltwater Samurai's weight and tackle. As you can see here, check out this uh, Sputnik type of weight, okay? Because the surf is so dang strong out there, the currents are really bad, so we need all the help we can get. Saltwater Samurai, guys. Ray, I wanted to give you this Carolina rig from Saltwater Samurai, courtesy of Saltwater Samurai. Hopefully, Thank you. yeah, man, hopefully it'll, it'll bring you some luck and uh, so that the fish don't get away. Boom, all right, yeah. Okay, I see a little hole there. Let's see if it works. I was really pumped to try out my new ghost shrimp pump at the beach. No idea how to use it yet, but that just added to the excitement. Unfortunately, the strong tidal currents had other plans. They were completely covering up the ghost shrimp holes, making things a whole lot trickier. It's one thing not knowing what you're doing, but it's a whole new level when nature decides to throw in an extra challenge. Still, I wasn't ready to give up just yet. This is uh, kind of like what we're dealing with. All this sand on the table, on the chair. So, Ray, excellent job. We were able to conquer our, our goal here. Yeah. And uh, get this up. Yeah, so this is kind of doing the trick right now, but I am pretty sure we're gonna have some sand with our, our meal, but we don't care, we're hungry. That <laughs> natural salt, salts from the ocean. All right, let's see what we got here. Got our tortilla. All right. And I'm just gonna 
sneak in whatever falls in here is whatever falls in here because I do not want to whew, I don't want to mess around with a sand man I came out here on a mission and uh, I wasn't able to do the side of the story that I wanted to do which was I really wanted to uh, oh my god look at this it's really deep guys this is why we left because that uh, tide just kept on getting higher and higher and higher and uh, hitting the dunes hitting the top of the dunes some thoughts about today uh, well, I'm, I'm super happy about, you know, getting my my uh, red from the surf. That's the second time that's ever happened for me. You know, last time was in the last video that I brought you. You know, if you haven't watched it, I urge you to go check it out. Uh, I wanted to come back and I wanted to fly the drone in this 30 plus mile an hour wind. Guess what? Big surprise. Not going to happen. Uh, I could barely fly my my regular more powerful drone and, and, and it was struggling i was getting all sorts of warnings and stuff so i decided to not push it and i didn't do it um i didn't fly it at the end um it was incoming tide so we were just able to cast it to the first gut with success you know at least you know um that you know just getting here you know we got that red and then, um, you know, the rest of it was just, you know, catfish and other, you know, byproduct stuff, you know, trash fish type of stuff. Uh, barbecue was awesome. Ray did great. Uh, you know, he's been a friend for a long time. And uh, so I urge you to go and, and give his, uh, his uh, uh, YouTube a uh, little subscribe there, his channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, um, please do so it really helps me out helps out um helps it helps us grow you know and uh so we really appreciate that uh the support is great costs you nothing but it does mean a lot to me and uh you know kind of like motivates me to continue to bring you these videos uh anyway folks you know thanks for again for the support love you and uh see you on the next one